Good morning, my name's Ellie. Welcome to my channel, and today I want to test out this hair mask. This is from Kiehl's. It's the Olive Fruit Oil Deeply Reparative Hair Pack. It says it's with enriching olive fruit and avocado oils for dry, damaged, and undernourished hair. As you can see, we have recently bleached the crap out of my hair, so it's very dry and a little cranky. And that happens each time I bleach it. It just needs some recovery time. So it is dirty today, so you can't quite see how dry it is because I've been putting a lot of oil on it, but it is every time the shampoo goes in and pulls those oils out, is very crunchy. So, um, this is a new thing I want to try, and the only reason I really looked around for it is because I had a day where I was running errands and I did not have the energy to do the rest of the errand of going to Target and getting, um, the Gliss Schwarzkopf mask that I normally use. So I was like, I wonder if there's something new I could order on Sephora. So I ordered this because I didn't need it for a couple days because I was going to be away from my house. And um, I didn't have the energy to go to Target. But I also have been interested in trying more Kill stuff. I tried a bunch of their masks. And I think the next step is try some of their hair masks and then maybe some of their skincare. So, it's got a bunch of stuff on the back um, about restoring oils and moisture content and healing. So, let me rip open the back panel and talk about what we're going to do with it. So, the directions are to shampoo, um, rinse, and towel dry, and then I'm supposed to apply a liberal amount to damp hair, concentrating on the ends, and then it's going to sit for a minimum of three minutes, and then I'm going to rinse it out. So, my plan is to go take a shower, um, yeah, get my hair clean, then I'm gonna hop out, put this on, put on a face mask that I want to put on and hang out for a while and then rinse it off and I will show you guys, you know, what I look like with it on, what my hair looks like as it's wet, how it feels, then I'll show it dry, and it'll be a good time. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so the hair mask is on. Um, I actually really like the texture. It's very silky. It spread very, very quickly and very evenly, which is good. I don't like when masks are too goopy and hard to m spread out because the assumption is you're putting on this moisturizing mask because your hair is delicate and damaged. So if you have to push and pull or like comb it through, that's going to damage your hair while you're trying to repair it. So it breaks the delicate hairs. So this spread out really, really nicely. Um, I'm going to throw on a face mask and let it sit for about 10-15 minutes, which is how long I leave the face mask on. Then I'll wash it out and come show you guys how I feel about it after it's been soaking. We are fresh out of the shower. I have not applied any product yet, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how it felt uh, while I was rinsing it out. Very, very silky. Extremely smooth, and I feel like my hair has a lot of slip to it right now, which is good. That's exactly what you want with, um dry damaged hair you don't want it to be catching on itself while you're putting in your moisturizers and stuff like that you want it to slip you want it to slip against each other so you're not breaking extra strands trying to put in your leave-in moisturizers and stuff so i'm going to do the rest of my day um well not that do my skincare put my hair products in um i might check in with you guys while it's wet i might just wait till it dries and we'll see how it feels so products are in, it is now air drying, it is still feeling really, really soft and smooth, so I have high expectations of how it's going to feel when it's dry. Okay, so my hair has finally dried. As you can see, it's got a little bit of volume, which is good. It is really, really smooth. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to feel the roots, because that's where a lot of the um, extra crunchiness was, because bleach plus the heat of your scalp kind of extra fries the roots uh, and then you don't spend as much time putting product on it because you're focusing on the ends and the way you would normally look at your hair but I quite like it I think this is something I can definitely um, involve into my my routine it does feel quite nice I think this is the kind of thing that if you keep using it you would have more and more lovely hair um, I did want to guys show you guys if I can a little bit, yeah. So I didn't use that much. I feel like you would get a lot of uses out of this huge, huge jar. 
um, especially because it did spread so easily. I didn't need to keep like globbing, globbing it on. It just kind of disappeared into my hair magic-like. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep using it. I will check in when it's, it's empty and do a different video about whether or not my opinion changed. But as of right now, I'm happy with this. I like it. You do get 8.4 ounces, and this is a sturdy tub. I feel like if I'm going to spend something like $25 on a hair mask, I want it to be big, and I want it to last me a long time. If you're going to sell it as something like, oh yeah, this is so good, you need it for your hair, it should be something that works really well, something that spreads really well, and something that lasts me. I don't want to have to buy a new hair mask every two weeks. But this one probably will last me a long fucking time. So... I'm excited about this. I feel like it did some very nice things for my processed hair. And let me know what you think. Um, how you feel about it. Do you prefer masks that are cheaper and you have to purchase more often or something that you can potentially buy with a little bit more of a price tag but lasts you a little longer or potentially has better results? I do intend to pick up the Schwarzkopf mask after I finish this up and compare if my hair feels any different. Because if you can do one for cheaper, that's great, but if it really does something fancier than the other one, I'd like to know. Maybe we'll do a ha nope. I'm just going to shut myself down on that before I even try, because I don't want to... I was thinking about, like, doing a half and half head test. No, we're not doing that. I am not committing to that. I don't have this, this attention span and skill for that. Nope. But I will pick the other one up and then do a follow-up on which one I think is better. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was fun. Let me know if you have any other um, hair masks or products things that you'd like to see tested. Because currently my hair will give a good test on it because processed as fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next week.